It's Christmas Eve and Richard Gere is a dad from New York City He's got no time for Christmas cheer which really is a pity The feast is always meager and the fuss is not allowed He's hated Christmas ever since his wife had choked to death on a Brussels sprout He's a big important businessman who's got no time for trifles So much so that he's missed his daughter's big school dance recital She stamps and shouts and slams her door to show him that she's mad But the sickly sweet piano shows that she just wants her dad he goes off to a bar and gets into a fight with a drunken cigar-smoking Santa Then we cut to him slumped on a central park bench looking up at the snow-covered lanterns When all of a sudden Bob Hoskins appears as a jolly street sweeper and shouts Hello mate, what's the matter? You down on your luck? It's Christmas, what's this all about? I wish that I'd never been born, he replies. Christmas time's just for drowning your sorrows Well, I've heard Christmas Eve is a magical night even you might feel different tomorrow. With that, Bob Hoskins vanishes and a distant bell strikes twelve and the ghostly shape of Bing Crosby begins to show itself. I'm the ghost of the forties and fifties and I know very well that Christmas is a time for love and parties that are swell. Central Park then melts away to reveal a colorful ski lodge With all the United States Marines doing stylish wisecracks and dance routines The whole crowd's dressed their immaculate best and everyone's casually sexist Wow, says Richard Gere, these classy cats did Christmas right But I don't see what this has to do with me and my terrible life And as if by some strange magic, the ski lodge fades away and leaves him on that lonely bench in Central Park again. He stares across the frozen pond a little overwhelmed. Till a giant sleigh arrives with Brian Blessed at the helm. I'm the ghost of Christmas shouting, glad tidings do I bring. I'm here to prove that Christmas is a very wondrous thing. The sleigh takes off into the sky, the world gone topsy-turvy, pulled by a group of comedy elves, all played by Eddie Murphy. The streets are filled with people and it's suddenly Christmas Day, and everyone says Merry Christmas in an unrealistic way. And a little girl and her smiling dad are opening a Christmas present. She lifts the lid and a puppy springs out, it's all so wholesome and pleasant. They look so happy, Richard sighs. As the scene dissolves before his eyes And to his dwindling surprise He's alone on the bench again Till an eerie chill descends and haze effects start rolling in And a figure cloaked in shadow shows a rugged stubbly grin We recognize Bruce Willis though the light is dim and murky I'm the ghost of turkey and whooping ass And I'm all out of turkey he pulls out a bazooka, Richard horrified absconds. The fired rocket detonates upon the frozen pond. The blast of icy flame throws Richard off his feet and then, with heavy thud, he wakes up on the park bench once again. Dazed and confused, Richard looks at his watch, which is now reading quarter to twelve. He's forgotten to pick up a gift for his daughter. Oh God, he's messed that up as well. He runs to the toy shop, but now it's too late, and the janitor's locking the doors. With a lump in his throat, he screams, I've ruined Christmas, and falls to his knees on the floor. He trudges home to find his daughter by the Christmas tree, having drawn two smiling stick men with the caption, Dad and me. Dad, even though you left me home alone for seven hours, there's not one single place I'd rather call my home than ours. And the message is that Christmas means togetherness and family In the cinema equivalent of deep fried cotton candy We pan out of the window and John Williams' soundtrack swoons And we end with Brian Blessed silhouetted on the moon And to all a good night! <laughs>